Welcome guys to my new video. In this one, we are going to do some tests. And as you guys can see, I have this fire extinguisher and uh, working lighter. And we have 3D printer enclosure and this is fireproof. So we will install this fireproof, we will open this fireproof uh, 3D printer en enclosure and we will start making the things and then we will assemble it. So let's take it out. And this is the entire bag. Here are the connection parts to so connect the beams. And here are the beams. And they have gloves, so they suggest us to use gloves while assembling these bars because there, there might be sharp edges that can cut our fingers, so we should be careful about that. So let's start assembling it. This enclosure is from 3D Master. I'm putting their link in my bio too, so you guys can check it out as well. So it is from 3D Master Fireproof 3D Printer Enclosure. Uh, I think I can fit my CR10 inside as well, which we will uh, look at in the video. Okay. Let's take it out. Each of these bars are labeled, so this one has a W label, this one has an L label, and this one is an H label, height, length, width, simply. So we will connect these, and these are the common uh, bars that we need to use. So each of these are common bars that we will connect. I will get these height bars and connect them with the common bars. So I need to do all of these. In total, I need four. Four of the height bars are done, and this is the overall height. So it's pretty tall. I think my CR10 and CR10S will fit inside. And now I have the length L bars. I will connect the L bars. Again, four of them. And these bars are oriented so it doesn't go one way but it does go the other way. So four the length bars are done and again four width bars. So let's connect width bars too. And yeah, I would like to emphasize wearing gloves because some portions is chips inside, so you might cut your hand excellently. So don't do that, use the gloves. So now we have these corner connections. Now I'm going to connect one of the corner connections. The tubes get inside the corners, by the way. Connect it with the width. This is the width bar labeled width. And I'm going to do another width. And I'm going to connect length bars to the width bars, two of them, to create the first square. And the first square is complete. I just need to make sure I'm pushing it right. Done. Now before I move to the second square, I'm going to connect height bars, four of them. Height bars are done. Now the final square. Again, I'm getting my width bars, connecting them. Now I'm going to connect the lengths. Perfect. Second square is ready and I'm going to put the second square on top. I'm not sure if it's still seeable in the video. I hope it is. But simply I'm just connecting it. If not, I will just 
push the video. I will just show it in a moment. So this is the entire box, which is I think pretty good. And now we are going to make it there, this fireproof enclosure. Let me check the video yeah, if you guys are still seeing it. And I think I'm done with the gloves, so I don't need the gloves anymore. Yeah, it is a little bit less seenable, but you guys can see it like this. Now I'm going to back up the camera so that we can get a better view. Okay, now since we have the full view, I'm just going to open this up and make it there. Let's dress the skeleton. I will just put the fire extinguisher to the side and lighter to the side as well. It has a little window as well. So I will just open this window. If you also did it wrong like me, you just need to rotate it one more time. The smaller cross section is going to come to the back. What you are looking is the top portion. So whenever we bring this top down, you can just like do this and bring it down. So this is the entire fireproof enclosure. So outside has a couple options. Um, in here, we have a place to put the tools. Let's zoom in that portion. Okay, also here we have two places to put our tools. At the front, we have the window that we can take a look. I hope this window is also fireproof too, including the interior. And this uh, Velcro connects to this Velcro on top when you open it. Over here, there's a connection port so that you can basically bring the cables out. At the back, there's another connection port. We can put the power cable out. And this is the back section of it. This is the top. This is the back to the side. Only one side has the bags. The other side doesn't. Okay, so this is the full enclosure. So regarding the size of it, when I look at the manual, it says 535mm, 635mm and 750mm entire size of this. So that you can put big printers inside as well. Small printer is going to be in there too, but we are going to be pretty small. So we will go up to my office and we will, do, uh, we will put inside CR10 and I will show you guys. And yeah, this is all the manual says. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to test this fireproof by using a lighter. Um, company sent me a video too. In the video, I see that they're using torch to fire it, um, burn it. It doesn't burn, so it is pretty resistant. I think lighter is going to be very, um, very low key compared to that. Let's try. I'm, con I'm thinking if this window is also fireproof too or not. Okay, let's start with this portion, since they're very same, so I'm going to try to burn up this portion. It does uh, make it... Um, what do you say? It does make it <laughs> black and smokes. And this is going to, like, it's, it's releasing the smoke, so I'm going to put it from the back. It uh, breaks the smoke like this. You guys can see the smoke coming, right? Smoke accumulates. But I didn't see the fire flames or anything. 
So let's keep it a little bit more. So basically, if your printer burns inside of it, <laughs> you will have lots of smoke and this thing is going to be black all inside. But I'm not sure if this is going to go all the way bad. So when there's fire, so it does. It's not going to flame up. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, my lighter is running out of juice. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's going to be lots of smoke, but seems like it's not going to fire up. So I've been using it one minute. Let's do this. Okay. Now we have a problem. See, this window is not fireproof, it's burning. So it's going to melt all the way. And it's going to smell awful, I assume. See, if your fire is towards the window portion, window is going to melt and it will release lots of fumes, you guys can see. So this is not 100% fire, oh look, look, it's already melted and my thing is getting inside of it. So let's drop it. See this portion over here is melted and basically if your fire gets inside and probably towards the more forward portion of it, this portion is going to melt up and the entire window is going to basically <laughs> melt. So basically if the fire inside becomes really excessive, it's going to melt the window and then all the smoke is going to come out and the probably it's gonna fire up. I think there's a fault in this, which is the window. The window is not fireproof, it melts. Uh, but the enclosure itself is fireproof because it doesn't burn. So what happens here, this portion is fireproof. It's not flaming. I think I would call it flameproof. This one is not going to flame, but it will release smoke if you expose it too much that I did in here. So see, there's a flame. Flame, my flame is going in there, it makes it black. Smoke is coming out like hell, but it is not flaming up, flaming up. But I think if I keep it longer, the results may change based on your fire's uh, strength, I guess. But one to two minutes, it makes it all dark, but it doesn't flame up. So if your fire, if, if, you're, if your fire is out of oxygen inside this box, it's not going to flame up, but when it comes to the middle screen, the screen melts. And whenever that melts, simply there's going to be opening, oxygen is coming, and all your this uh, nasty smoke is going to come out of this box and it will cover your house. So I don't think it's a 100% fireproof at this point, but it is partially, like this jacket portion is fireproof. Yeah, I can't tell that. It's not going to flame up. Like it's, I'm gonna call it like flame proof. Yeah. I think this is good enough exposure. We are at this point. Pretty sure this is not going to flame up. Oh, what about this portion? Oh, see? The textile is melting all the way out. So basically, uh -huh. Well, if fire is very extensive inside, then the textile will melt. <laughs> and then uh, the enclosure is going to destroy itself. Because, let's look at it. Yeah. So the, por the portion that I melted melts from inside and the outside melts too. So this portion melts. 
yeah see it, this portion catches fire but it basically goes down when it reaches the fireproof portion fireproof portion is fireproof yes but the connections that are making this thing fireproof are not necessarily fireproof so it's a uh, I think this product needs a little bit more development. Okay, summary. So, is this product good? Is this portion fireproof? I am going to call it flame proof. Um, this silver thing is flame proof, so it's not going to fire up. But, let's say something bad happened, uh, then everything inside will going to flame up. The flames are not going to come out, but it's going to heat up. So, when it heat up, these textiles are going to melt. This portion is going to melt and eventually all the smoke is going to come out of this box outside, uh, which will be again a disaster. Is this a kind of protection? Yes, it's uh, one degree of protection, let's say. Is it going to be fully fireproof? I'm gonna say no, it's not going to be a fully fireproof, but it's a good 3D printer enclosure. It is a good enclosure but it needs a little bit more development to be 100% fireproof. I'm not gonna call it 100% fireproof. There are defects on it, as I showed in the video, but rest is good. <laughs> so let's put the CR10 inside. I'm gonna put it in the end of the video to show you guys CR10 inside. Uh, but I would like to thank them for sending me this product. I think this is the honest review that I could do. I put the fire on it and I took the precautions as well. So don't worry about it. This is done by expert. Don't try this at all. <laughs> Don't try this at home. As you guys can see, my CR10 uh, fits in properly, and I opened it up so that you guys can see it with the light. Um, I have the filament bunker attached to it nearby, so a filament bunker fits with the movement of the Y axis and X axis and Z axis are not disturbed. However, the controller box do not fit in, so the controller box stays outside. So the rest fits in. In the scenario that controller box simply malfunction, well, it is outside. So maybe this is not good good fit for CR10, but Ender 3, Ender 3 version 2 will fit in everything inside properly. But not CR10 or CR10S. Their controller boxes are not going to fit. It's not that big. However, it looks good. Let's close the hood and take a look at it so when you close it it's basically dark and it's hard to see the printed object so you guys might want to put LED inside of it when you are doing the printing and all those kind of stuff two other good things this will help you to print ABS because the enclosure is going to stabilize the temperature which is great it will help you to print ABS and the layers are not going to crack and the other good thing is the film so when you're printing with this, you are encapsulating the fumes inside, so it's not going to come out while printing, which is another good thing, I guess. And yeah, these are the two other benefits of having this kind of a box. And yeah, this is the end of my review video, and this is the review. You guys see what it is. If you want to buy it, go ahead, click the link. Um, if you want to buy it, go ahead, click the link, visit their uh, website, and if you want to buy it just buy it it will be a one step safer enclosure that's for sure no judgment in there but just to let you know the connection points are going to melt in case of a fire and the window will probably melt and the smoke will escape and yeah but since the top section especially is fully um, fireproof it's going to be avoid the fires coming out of this but the window is going to melt and the stitch points are going to be melting so that is something to keep in mind if you guys like this video click the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel it is free and yeah share this if you like it and don't forget to follow my instagram account too until then take care guys and have a nice day